Hey there, my name is Tracy from Randomness of Rudy. Welcome to the Pisces Experience. This series of videos is going to take a look at Pisces the fish in relationship with each sign of the zodiac. But before we dive into compatibility, let's talk about Pisces the fish in relationships in general. Pisces are born February 19th through March 20th, and Pisces is the last and final sign of the zodiac, the 12th sign of the zodiac. And tradition has it that Pisces tends to embody each sign that precedes it. And so as a result, Pisces in general represent this transcendental type energy that is very spiritual um, and, and also that just embodies this uh, spiritual collective that Aquarius starts, okay, and Pisces finishes. Um, Pisces is a water sign, and so this is an energy that operates on a purely emotional level, but it goes even deeper in that Pisces is very spiritual, Pisces is very intuitive, uh, and, and Pisces is also very mystical and, and very enchanting, okay? And so these things alone definitely uh, draw a lot of suitors to Pisces, and, and draws a lot of attention to Pisces. And this is why Pisces tend to, you know, meet strangers from all walks of life who are willing to share their stories and their life history. Um, Pisces just draws this type of attention. Pisces is also able to pick up on the energies of other and, and rather easily. And so this explains why Pisces can be quite overwhelmed by an environment or someone's emotions because Pisces absorbs this stuff. Pisces is like a sponge absorbing other people's energy and their emotions and their pain and their joy. Pisces just picks it up naturally so. Um, and so as a result, Pisces tends to be, you know, an, an energy that stays in the world of fantasy. Pisces also needs distractions to kind of, you know, allow them to check in with themselves. And, and this is something that can come in the form of religion and, and, and spiritual pursuits. It's also something that could come in the form of, you know, stimulants such as drugs or alcohol that allows them to essentially, um, you know, check out, if you will, and, and really separate themselves from what it is that they're feeling. So this just describes how feeling of an energy Pisces can be. And Pisces will never tell you this. And it's not because Pisces doesn't want you to know. Um, it's because Pisces doesn't want you to feel uh, what it feels every day on a daily basis. Pisces is going to be considerate of that. And, and Pisces feels feels like, you know, he or she needs to carry the, the weight of the emotions of others on their shoulders by themselves. So Pisces can be quite the martyr in general. Um, but this is what you're getting in a relationship. Pisces is very understanding, very intuitive, very considerate. Uh, and you will have yourself a partner that really supports your emotional well-being as well as your spiritual well-being. Uh, and this can be wonderful for the more water types like Scorpio and Cancer. Or it could be quite um, overwhelming and, and difficult for the airy type like Gemini and, and Libra. Um, but nevertheless, Pisces is this warm, loving energy. And, and the difference between Pisces in love and, and all the other signs in love is that Pisces loves wholeheartedly. So Pisces will never judge. Pisces will never discriminate. Pisces loves unconditionally. And, and this is also something quite wonderful to receive in relationship with Pisces. However, if you're a Leo and, and you want all that love to be, you know, stipulated for you and you alone, um, you may have trouble in this relationship because Pisces loves all. All right. So that just describes Pisces in a nutshell. As far as courtship goes, as far as relationships, you know, Pisces can be very difficult to pin down. And it's not because Pisces, you know, likes to meet other people or, or has this belief that the grass is always greener. It's really because Pisces is just this abstract energy. And sometimes it can be difficult to tell where you stand with a Pisces. Um, so you're going to have to, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, you may be the one to have to kind of guide Pisces in the in the direction of commitment um, and, and really kind of influence Pisces to make decisions on the relationship front. You're going to have to take the lead on this because Pisces just is su such a flowing energy and, and it can be difficult to firm things for Pisces on the relationship front. Pisces is also poor with boundaries. Um, and so this is also something you'll have to be aware of. And you want to make sure you don't take your Pisces for granted um, because Pisces will totally, you know, detach him or herself 
from energy that feels difficult or negative. And, and to feel detached from a Pisces is not the best feeling whatsoever because Pisces is just so usually all-consuming. Um, so you want to make sure that you are being fair with your Pisces and helping your Pisces and guiding your Pisces along in a relationship, but in a way that's very gentle, in a way that, you know, in, influences Pisces to feel comfortable in that relationship, okay? So go ahead, take a look at the videos in this series. Um, hopefully you will find them of use. And in the meantime, if you want more information, feel free to visit my website at randomnessofrudy.com. Good luck.